What is up, people? Dobzools, it's right here. Now, of course, I have to sneeze as always. I blow my nose every time I make a video for some weird reason. Welcome to a returning show called... It's a Char! It's a Char! Yes! Chop Chop Bite is back! Oh yes, highly demanded by a lot of my friends and a few fans of the channel. So, um, today I went to a, a shop near me. Like I said, I'm still doing um, the 2 meters laws and everything. I'm still following it on. And anyway, what do you think about my brand spanking new hat? And this is a legit one. This is not a fake. This are proper gentleman hats. Purple, very nice. I'm like Willy Wanka. Hey! <laughs> Anyhow, today we're looking at puds. Now these are British sweets, these are called Great British Puds. And there's four flavours. I bought the whole packets, I bought all four flavours, and I'm going to show you really quick on what they all are. So the yellow ones are lemon meringue flavour. Like you see, these are all Great British Puds. We have ourselves apple pie and custard. We have ourselves the pink one, which is rhubarb crumble. Very nice. And the one I think is going to be the best one, and that is sticky toffee pudding. One of my favourites. So we got four flavours, yellow, green, pink and orangey brown. So I might as well start ahead with my least favourite one, which I have to say to you guys, and literally tell me, out of them four flavours, which one would you pick for your British pud? But my least favourite is rhubarb crumble. I hate crumble and I hate rhubarb. So let's see if this changes my thing. But I know for sure these are all going to be artificial flavours. But it says these are vegan, so ugh. That's already giving me a bad, bad reputation. And as you guys can see, this is definitely not choc choc. It's not chocolate. It's a sweet candy thingy. But I'm putting... Like I said to you guys, I will not be bringing back Love and Sour Candy because I've done the most strongest sour thing in the world besides malic acid and I do not want to die today. So anything that's candy wise or even chocolate, anything like this, we're going to chop chop by it. It does not smell like rhubarb, it smells like sweet pastry. It actually smells like pastry, like the crumble part. Because if people do not know what crumble is, it's pretty much flour, sugar and marge binded up together into like a crumb, based like a bread crumb. That's it. So let's have a taste. Well, pretty much it's taffy for the British people think what that is. It's pretty much a long sweet like drumsticks, but in America it's like taffy. I'm not going to bite into it, people, because I don't really want to eat all this. But I'll bite a little tiny bit. All I taste is the crumble topping and just pure sugar. So that there, I'll give that I'll give a rating individually, so with that one out of Willy Wankers, <laughs> Willy Wonka, okay, I'm sorry people, if you guys are young, I apologise. Out of Willy Wonkers, uh, it's going to be out of 10 like usual, I'll give that a 2 out of 10 Willy Wonkers. So next up, my next least favourite. Apple pie and custard, and a lot of people are thinking, really, it's going to be all the fruit ones that you don't like. I actually do like lemon meringue pie, I really do. I just don't like apple pie. I like, I love custard, I really do love custard, but I do not like apple pie. I love apples, really do love apples, but I do not like them in dessert products, never liked it. I don't smell anything. I can't smell anything. Maybe a hint of custard? But I don't smell no, no apple whatsoever. <laughs> Getting the apple. 
Hmm. Well, not slight hint to custard, but yeah, it's purely sweet. It's purely sugar. No wonder why. How much sugar in this? Oh shit! <laughs> First two ingredients insulate glucose syrup and sugar. So it's sugar on top of sugar. Jesus Louise. Okay. Anyhow, now that one is a little bit better, but I can't go any properly higher. So I'll probably 2.5 out of 10 really wonkers. I've got a perfect puzzle for you. Now I'm I'm having massive hopes for lemon meringue pie because how can you screw up lemon meringue pie? I don't see why. <sighs> One thing about the sweet, this sweet company, that I love the sweet company, really do love the sweet company. It's like a childhood favourite of mine. But their packaging really needs some work nowadays. They should have them in um, paper ones, not these horrible plastic stuff that gets stuck to the candy. Again, I don't smell lemon. I don't smell the lemon. I smell the meringue. So what is it? You can smell one part and then you can taste the other. What the hell? Bang on. Lemon. Hang on a second, people. Fuck off. Sorry, it's a fly. <laughs> um, hmm. It's nice. Really do like the flavour. But once again, it's not the meringue pie. I don't say it's no meringue. I can smell meringue, but I can't taste it. So once again, it's missing the point. It's just a knockoff candy there. So for that being, it's really nice, I love the lemon flavour, but it still does not say what it is on the packaging. So I give it a 4 out of 10 Willy Wonkers. Now my hope is here. Sticky Toffee Pudding. You can't go wrong with Sticky Toffee Pudding. With a bit of ice, vanilla ice cream. Oh, I wish I could have that, but I've been cutting so I can't have it. This is my only candy I can have for today, and then that's it. I can't have anything else. Oh, I smell the sticky toffee. I smell the pudding. I smell the dates. Oh, and yes, dates are in sticky toffee pudding, if you guys want to know. That's very disappointing. It's light. It's not powerful at all. It's coming through slowly, but not like a punch. Mmm. I get this sticky toffee. I set the toffee nicely. But that's all I taste. I don't taste no buttery pudding. I don't taste anything like that. It's a gimmick. That's a disappointment. I need a drink after that. I need to wash my mouth out. Remember, people, what the fuck's that Fanta? <laughs> Anyhow, once again, a sticky toffee pudding. Massive disappointment. What the hell? So, I have to slash it again. I'll give that a 3 out of 10, really wonkers. I've got a perfect puzzle for you. So, that's the end of this episode of uh, Chop Chop Bite. Maybe, hopefully, very soon we can get into some more stuff like that. Probably some proper good candy. And if there's any in particular candies you want me to taste out, anything that's brand swagging new, let me know. I'll try and buy it in the shop. I'll put it on the side for another video in the near future. 
If you guys haven't done it yet, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, comment down below. And if you haven't done it yet, go and check out my old videos of Chacha Bite if you want to check them out. They are quite a few years old. I'll probably say about maybe five years old, I bet. <laughs> but anyhow, the P Palmer salute goes to you guys for subscribing. And I'll see you guys next time. Cheerio! Isn't there supposed to be song coming on now? That's better. It's okay. Cha! It's okay. Cha! Bye!